people are just fed up with this trans debate. Most of us couldn't give a sugar. But that says it all at five minutes. Mm. Winning yeah. by five, that tells you everything. Yeah. But, you know, Frida Wallace wants to come on again. She comes on, makes a fool of herself all the time, so she might as well do it again. Uh, Frida, I don't know what it is about me that you're... Uh... Hey! Oh, hey! James, you never know. Uh, uh, you know, you lot in the control room can shut the flip up. Otherwise, I will show you uh, what somebody being a. T I will. I will sack the whole bloody lot. I will just go to management and say I don't want any of them working on the show. No, management. you won't do that. Oh, I, I most certainly. Why would. bother telling management? Just sack them now. Not do it. Yeah, you don't have to go to management. You're yeah. James Wales. James, can I, can, I, can I do it myself? Now they're yelling. Frida's there. Frida's there. You know, honestly. Frida's there. Frida's, Frida's there. there. Okay, Frida. Right, Frida, what do you want? You want to talk about this? You don't seriously want to stick up for men who have become women but insist on then competing in women's races. Um, well, what I want to stand up for is people having the opportunity to reach for the goals they want to in life because, to me, sport is not just about biology. It's about something, like, on a more amateur level, Could it's you about sit mental still, health. Frida? You're making me feel sick. You're swivelling. Yeah, don't swivel. Oh, sorry, James. That's OK. Um, well, you know, I was going to say, you know, because on a more amateur level, you know, when, when people hear about these debates in the media, they kind of filter down, don't they? Because most, most, most people like me, we're not going to be Olympic athletes and we're not going to be in any of those arenas. But it kind of feels like, like on, on Talk TV today, trans issues have been mentioned 35 times already. And why is that? Why is this It's a constant... hot topic at the moment. Well, yeah. probably because the the producers need a bloody kick up the backside for not actually <laughs> thinking of anything that the public are more interested in. So let me tell you this, Frida, OK? Most of us couldn't care less about trans issues. That's true, yeah. But, but the thing the is... The trans thing is a minority of a yeah. minority. Yes, yeah, so right? why, why is it talked about so much on talk TV? Because people like you ring the producers continually begging <laughs> to come no, on the no, air. James, That's James. why... You see, my, 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 my kind of motivation is you talk about trans people all the time. I don't. And you never have, any, you never have I trans don't. people. I don't. often not, have not trans you, people not you, on. Not you specifically, James. Well, but no, you do on, there's a rule on this show, Frida. We only mm. talk about me, OK? Not interested <laughs> in anybody else. You want to well, slag someone yeah. else, go and I, talk I just, on their shows. I, I think it's nice if you include trans people in that conversation because you're not just talking about sports, you're talking about... Most trans of... people don't want to be in the public eye. They want to get on with what they feel right, is so, right. So you don't think we should be visible in the media? I didn't is say that. that. Saying? I think you can be as visible as you want, but not on the issues of, well, I want to be accepted as a woman. But, you but talk that's about opportunity. Way, that's how it is in society. When, you've I, take... when I've... But you've taken the opportunity the away world. from a female athlete, haven't you? And the ones, loads of female yeah. athletes. We're talking... Well, we're really. talking. I mean, we're, yeah. Listen to what I'm saying. We're talking about... Because the other issues just annoy me and they're stupid and I, can't, I cannot understand why the media well, has fallen for it. Listen, you lot, in the trans activists, whatever you are, you want to cancel me. You go ahead and try. You no, go ahead no, and we try. Don't wanna, we don't want to no. cancel you, James. But what I to want to talking. talk to you about today is yeah. about this business of a man who suddenly becomes, decides he wants to become a woman. Nobody suddenly just decides they're a woman, James. I know, it they don't. It doesn't happen like that. But there don't, are... Don't, don't be, be reductive. Uh, listen, I've got friends, I'm not going to go on it. Who've, anyway, they're not, not going to be Can I... fair to allow yeah. that. I'm so yeah. angry, I'm actually having to think before I speak. I am well, so I just, angry. Just... No, keep, going, my, keep her off a minute, otherwise I won't, I'll lose my place. In my head, and you've no idea how difficult it is to get there. Yeah, no, I have to say yeah. Yeah. Um, The problem is that if you were a man who wants to be a woman, then that's fine. I've not, I don't even care. Nobody cares. You must do what is right for you. But if you suddenly become a man who wants to become a woman and you become a woman, but you are still biologically, in many, many ways, a man, and it is unfair for you to want to compete against a, a human being who was born as a woman yeah. because that isn't fair. The whole point of sport isn't. is... Yeah. is men is, are stronger, faster. Well, that's why they are a separate men and women. Let's, let's ask Frida what she thinks about so, this. So, so I, don't, I don't want to compete. 
it's like that you've constructed that you've constructed this argument around a trans issue, which really is a sporting issue. If you want to talk about fairness and parity in well, what do you sports, you agreed to come on and talk about this? As far as you, I know, no, I know, I didn't. Nobody told me what the subject was going to be. I just right. I'll tell you something that happened. Did you know that trans women are coming over on small boats and they're trying to turn your kids trans? Did you know that? I missed that because Chuck was apologising to me <laughs> for not giving you the right information. But I'll deal with him after the show. Say it again. I'm just saying, James, these, these are like stupid stories that come into the press because they kind of push those fear narr the, the narrative. The like an invasion narrative, like trans women are taking over something. It's just not happening. It's ruining an athlete's life, hasn't it? A lot of no, female athletes' no, life. No, 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 of course no, no, it's no. ruining their life. They spend their whole life. You doing cannot. It. You can. You, if you want to be an athlete, then you yeah. can be. There, there can be. Yeah, but that's not, a an, that's not an argument. That's not an argument you well, want to have an with argument. me. That's, that's an argument why we're arguing. You have with a sports scientist. Yeah. Apparently, you came on to talk about trans issues. That is the one of the day that I'm talking well, about. Well, you should. I just want to say, if you want to find out about trans issues, you should follow my podcast, The Gender Nebulous. Podcast. Get her off. Goodness sake! I told you I don't want to talk to her again. If we want to do trans issues. <laughs> No, I'm not going to talk to her anymore. Hey. Nice one. Oh, you said God bless. That what was his message. What are we doing now? Oh, yeah, Frida. Yeah, we're going to oh, right, Frida come, come back on. OK, because James, James was, uh, cut, yeah. cut her off. Frida was on to talk about trans issues. There was a bit of a confusion because we were talk talking about sport and it all ended in a bit of kerfuffle and she got the old buzzer. But she's back now. She's back on. Frida. Is she on Hi again. I, can, I, can I just say yeah. sorry to Frida's you? back. Frida's back. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't want to be aggressive or anything. I would just—I find it difficult to uh, get on board some of these topics because obviously I'm not a sports expert. I'm not an expert in anything, but I—I do, I, I do yeah. question why these things come into the media. And I've listened to James Whale, mm. James Wales, since I was 14 years old. On yeah, the James first, Wales, yeah. the James first Wales. ever when when talk to, talk radio, and it used to be on before my. There's a moth in your house, man. I just saw a moth. Oh, There's a, a moth flying. I hate it's, moths. It's a nighttime butterfly. Oh! Um, uh, but you see, what I was going to say is, yeah. um, like, I used to listen to James, and he used to challenge people that were homophobic, and he used to challenge people... Well, that he does, he still does. Yeah, but, but I find it a bit disappointing sometimes that he... He, like we can't me. talk for James though. You'll have to ring back when James is. What do you want to talk? James, but I mean, let's talk about you. When did you become? When did you think realize you were trans? Yeah. How, how old were you? I think when I was about five years old, I went to oh, a school wow. where there was where I was taught by nuns. And there was so did separate, Lizzie. Yeah, I did as there, well. There was a boys' entrance and a girls' entrance, and I remember saying, "Why do I? Why did the boys and girls go in different entrances?" And nobody else was asking that. And I, and I asked one of the nuns, and she said, "Well." You know, you can't go in that way because you're not a girl. And I said, well, I like I like to be with the girls, and I didn't understand why it was a problem. Mm. And and the, and the nun explained something to me. She said, well, we're all actually three things. We're a, we're with our set. We're ourselves. We're our shadow and our reflection. And it's a kind of trinity. And it kind of made sense to me. But it's like it's like things like that. They kind of when you're a young per when you're that young and you're questioning gender. It's like, and also like you, Lizzie. It's like. I think when he's because you've got an interesting story and it's like you're, you're a kind of style icon, you know, and it's like... Oh, thank you. That's very kind. You know, there, are <laughs> lot, there, there are a lot of trans women I know that aspire to be like you. And oh. I think, you know, and I, I know the women, obviously, but I think I, I sometimes find it a little bit disappointing when people fall into these kind of... I, I, would, I, I wouldn't call them false arguments. There is an argument to be had mm. about the inclusion of women, trans women in sport, or about trans women in prisons, about trans women in, you know, single-sex spaces. But I don't I don't experience that in my real life. Mm. Like, most of yeah. the women I know accept me mm. and they protect me because they know misogyny doesn't come. It doesn't discriminate. Like, the kind of men that will abuse me are the kind of men that will abuse any woman. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, when it comes to certain things like sport, and I know it's just a, a sort of narrow area, it is obvious that, you know... It's not right, it, is it? But it. But well, you but see, I mean, a, a biological male beating mm. five, five minutes a female um, cycling event. Yeah, but the but, problem is th those stories are propelled into the media. Yeah, I know. Be... And it, yeah. What do you think but, of the drag queens yeah. doing the story hour at, at schools? 
Well, if the implication is that there's some kind of malevolent, kind of like there's some kind of sexual element or there's some kind of corrupting element, it's like if you were that kind of person, if you were the kind of person that want, we wanted to corrupt children, you wouldn't do it at an event like no. that. Why not? You wouldn't do it. It would be because, a perfect way to get, get into the school. No, it wouldn't because the kind of people that abuse, they do That it. is what, that is a typical way that a paedophile, they get into like certain no. youth groups and they get in. That's no, what they no, do. No. That's what is what, no, how, no, how, no. get Ash, access. Ash, Ash, you wouldn't you wouldn't dress up in sequins and be in an environment I don't know. where you, How do you know that? where you had you wouldn't you be in an environment that. where you would need a police check. Yeah, but perform. you might have never been caught for anything. But but Ash, you're more likely to be be abused by somebody in a police uniform than you but are. I mean, don't you think it's like but an I, adult act? I mean, you wouldn't have a burlesque story time in I don't, school, would I, you? I, I, I don't think there's anything sexual about a drag queen. Unless there are there are sexual kind of, like if you look at Lily Savage when she was oh. on Blankety Blank, she used to make cheeky jokes. Yeah, but they're not like. But is it is it suitable for a young kids? Because it's more of a is it more I of a, think... a nighttime act? Is it confusing friend... for kids? No, I think if if when I was young, if I, when I used to go, when my mum used to take me to pantomimes, I used to love all that kind of stuff because yeah, it, well, yeah. it opened up a new world to me oh. that was like it because it wasn't heteronormative and for somebody like me. Because it's not about sex, it's about... Yeah. No, but in the pantomime, it was sort of a funny thing, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, but it's You still, see the man well, dressed as the woman, you but know, I think, and all I that think, I mean, I'm not here to defend the actions of whatever drag queens want to do, but what I would say is if you were the kind of person that liked to abuse children, I don't think you'd be going down that route to do I it. Think you you'd might be, do. I think it would no, be, I, you know, you might do or no, another no, route. No, 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 you're more likely... It's more likely to be somebody wearing a suit and a tie. Mm. But why do you think it's suddenly now? Because uh, for me, all I, I, I've met, I've friends that are trans. I've, I've got mm -hmm. friends that are drag queens, and I just, I think they should be treated with real un kindness and understanding, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. and not used yeah. as politi yeah. po political yeah. scoring points. Uh, I think um, what it, what it is, is because of there are certain lobbyists that exist that provide guests for TV shows like on Talk TV. They they work for the Policy Exchange. They work for the Institute of Economic Affairs, and it's their job to to change the narratives. And the trans issue is one of those things where they can really influence votes. Because if you if you can create a fear narrative, you yeah. can influence people's votes, and that's how it yeah. works. It's that that's why you'll get Richard Tice on. And who, who probably funds half of this? Well, he's a presenter station. on this station, very fine yes. presenter. He actually funds half of it, Ash. So well, I don't know if don't, he does. I mean, we don't know what he he's does. Doing that. Well, we don't. He does. Richard, you know. Richard but, Tice. Like, can I just say? I just want to give a shout out to my friend Mizzy, who I met. Mizzy, yeah, you know, Mizzy. We, he was on the other day, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, Liz, Lizzie. Lizzie or Mizzy? <laughs> Lizzie. No, no, Mizzy. Mizzy. Yeah, Mizzy. Oh, Mizzy, yeah. nice name. Because well, I recognised him, Mizzy. He's like the modern day Jeremy Beadle. No, he's the. Have, did you ever see a TV show called Nathan Barley? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do, What's his Chris... Um, do... Mor was it Chris Morris? Yeah, Chris, Chris Morris, Morris yeah. yes. Because to me, Mizzy Charlie is Brooke, a kind yeah. of... I don't Charlie agree Brooke. with... Mm. Yeah, I don't agree with some of Mizzy's actions. I think it, what Mizzy did was, you know, you don't want to be stealing people's mm. dogs and trying to intimidate mm. people, but he had to he had to make those statements to get his platform, and I've had to do that. I relate to that experience because if you're somebody... Like James said to me earlier, oh, you're always ringing up trying to get on, but I don't have a publicity team. No. I just you are your own publicity team. There's nothing yeah, wrong with I, ringing up to get on because, you yeah, know... That's it's, what it's all about. Lizzie, you're interested. Well, anyway, yeah. look, we got to go. we got to go, Freedom. freedom we got to go to a break, back. but... Thank you for we'll, coming back we'll be, on, and hopefully yeah. I'll see you in the flesh soon. We'll come in the studio. We'll take a break. -ing.